chiropractic. Why should you care? Why should you be interested? And why do I, as a holistic veterinarian, recommend chiropractic care for my patients? Why I thought that I needed to pursue chiropractic training had a lot to do with concerns about um, back pain, neck pain, uh, performance, um, optimizing performance and helping animals that had active um, problems in that area. Chiropractic is about optimizing the body's nervous system and its communication from the brain to all the other organ systems. That also involves dealing with issues as to why I thought that I was interested in the first place with why there's neck and back pain and some of these these uh, decreased performance issues, but it's also a whole lot more than that. Um, and animals that have problems in other organ systems absolutely can directly benefit from chiropractic. And from a holistic uh, perspective of attempting to maximize our animal's um, longevity and quality of life, having optimal nervous system function is part of what helps them be as healthy as they can be and and happy and comfortable. As I tell many of my clients, why are why do subluxations happen is one of the common questions that they that they have for me. And what I what I say is I say the way that I was taught is the three T's: thoughts, trauma, and toxins. And thoughts has to do with our emotions and stresses that occur. Many of us go, well, our animals aren't that stressed, they have it really good. Well, while that is true in many ways, um, they, they do have their own levels of stresses and they also reflect back to us the stress that we carry and that we um, have and express in their presence and around them. So stress is something that's real for them as well. Um, as well as they get very bonded to us and oftentimes they don't get to go everywhere we go and so then they're left alone and how do they handle that? Um, that's just a couple of thoughts on stresses. Um, trauma, we all think about the traumas of falling down the stairs or um, getting, you know, tripped on, tripped over or, you know, knocked into or running, accidentally running when we're chasing a squirrel into a, you know, and, and headbutting a tree. My own, my own, own dog has done that on more than one occasion before. Um, those things are obvious traumas, but then you also have the traumas of the, the postural changes associated with long toenails, which I'll have more talk about that in a separate video. Um, the jumping up and down off of furniture in and out of cars, going up and down stairs, um, how the posture that you take when you sleep, all of those things are, are fall, fall into a, a trauma category as well. Then you've got toxins. Toxins are something that we all are affected by. Uh, there are certain degrees of things we can do to manage those toxins and to try to minimize exposure to such. Choices with how we are approaching diet and our water sourcing and what kind of, what kind of uh, cleaning products are used in our home, for example, as well as you know, what kind of things are out in the environment where we are traveling and where our animals are, are spending time. Uh, also is part of it. Well, we can't control the air quality outside directly ourselves, and we can't control some of the things that our animals are exposed to. And the body does respond to those toxins, and over time, those toxins can contribute to chiropractic subluxations. So that then leads us to what's a subluxation, and why do we care? A subluxation is an area, a joint, um, a joint in the body that is unable to move optimally. It is, um, its movement is decreased in some way um, that changes how the nerves that exit the spinal cord in between some of those joints, many of those joints, how well those nerves can function is affected by the movement and um, 
integrity of what's what's going on there with that joint by restoring better movement to the area it actually really improves our body's nervous system's ability to respond and that can help minimize um, pain it can help um, really improve function overall so Chiropractic adjustments allow for healthier interaction and communication throughout the entire body. They improve the overall health and helps turn on the body's ability to self-heal. I tell people that chiropractic, my hands are my tools for chiropractic, but what's really doing the work is the body, is the body and the patient's body's ability to self-heal, which is what holistic pet care is. I'm about trying to maximize that ability through optimal diet, through optimal care, through improving the individual's ability to heal itself from day-to-day -day, uh, traumas. This Removing of subluxations or misalignments of vertebra helps lead to improved motion comfort in joints as well as a better functioning immune system, allows the body's natural energy to flow properly and improves healing as I've mentioned several times here. So overall, why should you think about having chiropractic care be potentially part of how you approach your animal? It helps maintain optimal health and wellness, can aid in discomfort and pain relief, help minimize and manage musculoskeletal problems, spinal cord problems, improves organ communication, skin issues, and can help the body rehabilitate from challenges it's been experienced. So many people wanna know, how often does this mean I need to come and see you? For my approach and how I was trained with ABCA certified chiropractic, my recommendations are optimally. I love to see my routine chiropractic patients on a four to six week basis. We work our way up. Um, so usually it depends, each, each animal's an individual, every animal that I examine, my recommendations are based upon the details of what I find on that exam. However, on average, initial chiropractic adjustment, follow up usually two to three weeks later, Next follow-up, probably somewhere in the three to potentially four weeks, depending on how things are going. Then we try to see how they do on a four-week schedule for a little bit. Again, everything is affected by how each animal responds and what's been happening in between each treatment and how things are going when I see them back. I hope this has answered maybe some of your questions about why chiropractic is something to consider for your animal's health and long-term wellness. Thanks.